Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajesh and today uh, we will study a triangle law of forces. We will study uh, one form of this one we have studied already and that form states that if uh, forces acting at a point say this one and this one these are the forces represented by two adjacent sides of the triangle say this is a this is b this is c in magnitude as well as in direction then the closing side of the triangle taken in the opposite order opposite order means uh, it is uh, in this direction fine so then this is called resultant of the forces that is acting along a b and b c so if i say that again if two forces acting at a point say b are represented completely in magnitude as well as in direction by two adjacent sides of the triangle taken in the same order then the resultant is represented by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order and in this case we write AB plus BC is equal to AC fine and we say that since C A AC is resultant so these forces are in equilibrium and they can be written something like that so another form is of this triangle law is that let us say we have a triangle done and forces say this is C and this one is this is C this one is A and we you could take something horizontal okay it is somewhat tilted but it will not make any difference so you will draw it properly so this is A to C B to C and C to A if that force is acting at a point are represented like these are the forces now let us study another form of parallelogram law this is a force acting in this direction and this is another force acting in this direction and this is the third force acting in this direction and these forces are concurrent forces so this is in this direction this is in this direction this is in this direction so it states that if the forces acting at a point can be represented by the sides of the triangle then the forces are in equilibrium let us try to represent these forces like this we have to take this side parallel to this one so this is the side fine for this force we have to take this side parallel to this one and for this force we have to take this side parallel to this one fine and the order is to be same order has to be 
same if it is in this direction this will be in this direction if it is in this will be in if it is in this now you see if the force is acting at a point and say this is this direction is the force say p q r and this force is p represented completely by this side and this force is q and this force is r so it will be a to maintain the symmetry let us say that this is a b c fine so now these forces r p q are represented by the three sides of the triangle where the sides are taken parallel to the forces like this side is taken parallel to this force this side then we say that if we are somehow able to represent the concurrent forces three concurrent forces completely by the three sides of the triangle taken in the same order then we say that we say of such forces are in equilibrium are in equilibrium fine so this is the uh, another form of triangle law of forces if three forces uh, once again i am uh, repeating if three forces acting at a point can be represented completely in magnitude as well as in direction by the three sides of the triangle then the forces are in equilibrium can be represented completely means the forces this side p and ab have some proportionality relationship either this side is half of the force or it, this side is one third of the force something like it has proportionality relationship so if we are able to do something like that then we say that the forces are in equilibrium okay now study converse of of triangle law of forces what is the converse statement it states that if forces say p q r pq are acting at a point r in equilibrium r in equilibrium then they can be represented can be represented by sides of a triangle taken parallel to line of actions of p q and r such that these sides are in proportionality with the forces for an example if i take these are the forces acting at a point are in equilibrium are in equilibrium say this is point this is p 
Q. This is R, and the forces are in equilibrium. Then what does that law state that it can definitely be represented by the sides of the triangle with sides taken parallel to line of action of the forces P Q R. Now try to represent it with the sides of the triangle. Take the side parallel to this one. So I am going to take this side parallel to this one. Then take side parallel to this one. Then take side parallel to this one. Then and say this side is the vertices are A B C. So this is representing P. This force is Q. So this is Q and R. And this will be such that this condition P and this side, which is taken parallel to P, P was here. So this side is taken parallel to B. Is taken such that the force and the side bear the proportionality ratio Q and BC. Same, not CB. It is B to C. bc r by ca share the same proportionality relationship so this is the converse of triangle of forces so these uh, both laws are very important in first law once again i am repeating in first law the forces acting at a point are represented by the sides of the triangle taken in the same order then we say that forces are in equilibrium firstly we represent the forces by the sides of the triangle and this triangle is not necessary that it is of the same size it could be small size it could be of a small size also Okay, but main thing is that this side represent the forces, and such that they are in some proportion. Like this is P Q R here. This is A B C. So this is not exactly representing the force. But the force is in this direction. It its magnitude could be the twice of AB, thrice of AC. But they bear the proportional relation such that P by AB and Q by BC R by CA. So once again, if force is acting at a point, can be represented by the sides of the triangle taken in the order such that. The, the 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 sides bear the proportionality ratios then we say that forces are in equilibrium and the converse is that if the forces are in equilibrium then they can be represented by the sides of the triangle now order will automatically follow by the side of the triangle with sides taken parallel to the line of action of the forces when we do such that such thing we will get the forces in order all already in order and that is such that they bear the ratio constant ratio with the sides forces bear the same ratio with the, the sides so this is the triangle law of forces that we will be using and converse of the triangle law of forces so that's all i have from this lecture and if you like the lecture please like subscribe share and comment this is dr rajesh saying a goodbye take care bye bye and see you soon